For more on the Final Four matchups, kasama natin mga UAP analysts na si Renner Nitualo at Christian Luanzon. Guys, welcome back to the score. Where's your checkered shirt? <laughs> You're forgiven. <laughs> okay, unahin na natin tong, uh, I mean, it's interesting to have two of you, you former players. Uh, Nakapag-Final Four ba kayo? Hindi ko sure. Anong time niyo? Yes, you did? Okay. Yes, yes. Ano pa kinamdam? Going into the Final Four, ibang iba ba talaga from the regular elimination round? Well, the first time is always, ano talaga, yung very nervous talaga. Okay. But, uh, once you get the hang of it, lalo na si Ren Ren. <laughs> diba? I mean, hindi final four. Dapat ang tanong dito. Finals, finals eh. Uh, we'll finals, like, uh, um, you're gonna get used to it. You just have to, you know, play in the moment. Okay. Kasi, syempre, bihira lang mangyari mm. sa player. Pero ang interesting dito, Ren, ang bilis ng time frame to step up. Kasi katatapos ng elimination round, mm. you have only a few days to prepare for your matchup. Gano'n ka crucial yung transition na focus on the matchup and then stepping up in level? Well, Bago pa lang mag-start yung AAP, mm. dapat ang goal mo, go to the finals. Yun talaga? Fi yes, that's oh. our goal. Okay. Final four, then final. Mm. So, sa start pa lang, off-season pa lang, yun na talaga eh. Focus Correct. na kami. Mm -hmm. So, yung, yung pag-level up lang, more intense lang in practice. Okay. So, yung focus, andun, tapos tune, tune up games. Okay. Minsan, pag mala, 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 pag medyo mahaba. Pag yes. minsan nangyayari yun, minsan pag minakout na yes. pa. Yes. Oh. So, talagang... Parang pang final four na kagad yung game namin. Okay. Pag Not, kung baga natural din yung momentum yes. of the way the rhythm yes. goes. I ask this because itong FEU going up against Ateneo tomorrow, medyo hindi ka hindi ideal, let's put it that way. Yung road nila to the final four, of course, they're the second seed, they're mm -hmm. pero they lost to UST and to NU. And then, yes. they almost lost to Lasal because <laughs> they took it easy. Mm -hmm. So in terms of rhythm, Christian, kamo sa yung sa tingin mo ng FEU in terms of rhythm coming in to the final four? Well, I don't think yung last three games would matter. No? Okay. Uh, lalo na yung last game, obviously, it was no bearing. Oh. Um, pero etong team ni Coach Nas, I think, yun nga, very ripe ne. Okay. It's just a matter of you know, turning that potential which they obviously have first group, second group mm -hmm. into performance. Okay. Ren, UST and you, they lost pero magandang laban. Okay, mm -hmm. dumigit sila. FB, and against the training, obviously, you know, they played the second stringers and, and whatnot. As a, how, the, how are the players thinking? I know Coach Nash knows how ready they are. Pero the players' mindset, nakaka-affect ba yun na galing sa dalawang talo tapos hindi siya regular rotation na last game? Well, uh, medyo nakaka-affect sa confidence ng players okay. yun. But, uh, yun niya, concern niya ng FU, dapat manalo sila against Lasal. Okay. Pero yun niya, nanalo talaga sila. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kahit nag-relax na sila. Correct. Uh, very important yung, yung rhythm of going into the final four. Mm. Kasi madadala mo yun if you're losing. Medyo bagsak yung nine mo, med, mm. yung moral mo, yung katawan mo. It's really different if you're coming from a win, nasunod-sunod. Okay. Tapos yung confidence mo through, through the final four, and dapat. Kasi you're twice to beat only. Pag nawala yung advantage na yun, 50-50 na eh. Christian, ang daming weapons ng FEU. Uh, they're so deep. Uh, you know, uh, kahit sino pinasok nila, whether first string or second string, kayang-kaya. How are they going to match up against Ateneo? Uh, is it going to be a centric uh, game plan against, you know, Kiefer Avena, tingin mo? Well, no question, may hirapan matchup po isang Ateneo. Mm -hmm. I think Ateneo has to bring their A game. Okay. If they have to, if they want to get a chance, para at least, yun yung sinasabi ni Renan, magkaroon ng 50-50 chance man lang mm -hmm. para magkaroon pang pagkakataon. And I think it's going to start with, with Kiefer. I think okay. he's going to play with a chip on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. To prove na, you know, his last championship, yung mga championships niya kasama si, si Greg. Greg, eh. Greg so, so kumbaga, I think he's going to have a chip on his shoulder to prove na, hey, even without Greg, you know, he can do that, especially in his right, last year. Right, right. Okay. Ren, uh, kung ikaw ang Ateneo, anong kailangan nilang secret ingredient aside from Kiefer? I mean, we've seen it before, Final Force. Yes. Biglang lilito ang mga heroes. Yes, Kaya, oh, yes. sino to? Biglang kaya pala niya mag-perform pag playoff time na ganun. Well, uh, syempre, number one, mag-start yung keeper. But uh, yung bench nila, like yun. Wong, uh -huh. Arvin Valentino, mm -hmm. Aaron Lapp, who's yun. giving quality minutes in the Correct, past oh. game. So, mm -hmm. yun yung mga dapat mag-step up. Mm -hmm. Of course, Pesumal is given, syempre, nandiyan siya, he's a veteran, he's given a maganda performance. But those guys, coming off the bench mm -hmm. is very important because against FU, you can't relax. Even if you're up by 10 or 15 no. points, they can score 20 points. You know, just, just, yeah. <laughs> Let's turn it on. <laughs> oh, if they decided to score oh. 20 points in three minutes, they can do it. Oh, nga, oh, nga. Um, we've seen them battle in the elimination round. It's going to be different every uh, mm -hmm. sa Final Four. Anong, mm -hmm. Anong meron in terms of game plan na kailangan siguro i-tweak ng Ateneo to try to surprise FU with something different? Well, nung first round kasi, I think Atenea was blown out because yun yung time na they're still trying to figure out yung identity ng team nila. 
They were able to adjust second round. They were five and two. First game nila nung second round FU, and that was the start wherein they were starting to to hit stride, even though they lost that game. And for that game, I think yung maging adjustment ng atene, you can expect what usually teams do to get the ball out of Kiefer's and limit his touches. So I think Kiefer has to, you know, aside from involving his teammates, play off the ball more, but still have an impact sa laro. Ren, I don't remember. Ano ng yari sa last year mo? Did you make it to the finals? Yeah, we won. All okay. Ano ng feeling ni Kiefer? Oh, na nagako na siya. I'm gonna graduate. At gusto ko ng champion ako magraduate. Ano ng pakinamdam ng pressure na ganon? Alam na alam yun. Alam na. At yun yun tapad niya. Di pa na tapad niya. So how does he feel kaya? Well, sure he's pressured. Then number two is emotional. Because I was emotional also in my last game. Okay. Uh, that's why I just wasn't able to run in the first half, nane. Eh. Okay. So. Iba yung pressure talaga. Yeah, iba yung pressure, but yung yung emotions ang mm. mahirap i-control. Okay. Lahat ng banner makikita mo diyan. Thanks for the memories. Mayroon mga thank you oh, na yun. Oh, Handa na sila so, thank you. No? Doon pa lang masasoften up ko. Eh, kasi pag sa game talagang gusto mong pumatay. Eh. Parang, oh, correct, yung correct. Yung parang killer instinct. Right, right. But pag nakita mo yung mga thank you, thank you, parang masasoften up ka, maging oh. emotional ka. So, he has to like overcome that. Parang yeah, just think of the task at hand. Parang, oh, kailangan ready yung mentally siya, okay. emotionally. Kasi medyo masasoften up nga siya. Yun nga yung mangyayari. So, Kalan ready sa mga ganon. Okay, let's shift to the other series. Your alma mater, Christian USD, may twice the advantage. Pero ang kalaban nila, been there done that. Kaya nilang manalo ng two in a row. Although different ingredients a little bit this year. Walang Troy Rosario, walang Glenn Kubuntin. Pero ano sa tingin mong may match up na advantage ng USC sa NU? Aside from the twice the beat. Well, first of all, I'm curious because they had a 10-day layoff. So usually, I'm curious for the report tomorrow ano ginawa nila. Okay. But matchup wise, I think they're gonna have a hard time ito kay Aroga. Okay. I think kailangan nila i-contain si Aroga. Abdul, aside from playing offense, he has to lock down itong si Aroga. Okay. Ren, ako ba sa yung guard play nito? Dakiwag, Ferrer, will they have an easy time against NU? Alam natin, NU, grabe dumipensa. Last year, they shut down Kiefer and Ateneo in the Final Four, di ba? Can they do it again? Or paano mag-adjust si USD? Well, USD, yun nga, Big question there, ano yung ginawa nila nung During the break? Off? Kasi, nangyari nila sa inyo yun? O, 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 o nangyari kasi yung pahinga oh. na yun, crucial yun eh. Okay. Yung game game rhythm mo, mawawala doon. Pero yung okay. condition mo, na doon pa rin. But okay. the, yung, yung rhythm, rhythm mo rhythm. sa game, yun ang mahirap. Edo Kiwag solid, Kevin Turner solid. Hmm. But uh, kailangan nila mag-step up against NU hmm. is sila Vigil, Marvin Lee. The other Lee. guys. Yeah, so, the other guys. Oh. Yun yung mga sila bond na yun. Mm -hmm. So, kasi yun yung mga eh, maging X-Factor. Kasi mm -hmm. katulad yung sinabi ko, they're the main guys, those three. Mm -hmm. Abdul, Ferrer, and the Kiwag. Mm -hmm. So, kailangan in the final four, kung mabot siya ng finals, kailangan may mga supplementary scorers at contributors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lastly, uh, Christian, para sa NU, as I said, they've been there, they've done that, the team has done that, pero a big guy named Troy Rosario was there last year. Na malaking malaking factor talaga yun na walas siya. They said they had some guys who could fill that role this year. Parang hindi ganon kaklaro. Pero kamo ano kailangan nilang gawin para ma-overcome in twice a week? Well, I think it it has to aside from Aroga and Alulino, JJ Alejandro has to step up big time. Every time he plays well, and I've said this all season, every time he plays well, yun chance nila manalo mas mataas. So you know, giving that lift off the bench, scoring wise, and also just putting pressure. Lalong lalo na sa bench ng USD, which we all know, yun yun. Ito yung parang naging weakness nila all season eh. So, we'll just see. It's gonna be an exciting matchup. Alright, well, two very fun matchups. Bukas na Ateneo versus FEU sa Sunday naman. USD versus NU. Guys, maraming salam. We'll see you then. Bring your check-in shit next time. Salamat, salamat.